Well, hey everybody. I'm so sorry the live was not working. I don't know if it's the internet here or what's happening, but I decided I would just go ahead and record this and then just upload it for you. So what I had planned to do live for you guys today is um, this little set that I got from another uh, crafter here on or on Facebook. She might have a YouTube channel too, I'm not sure. Her Facebook page is My Turquoise Valentine. And what she made is a little topper set that you can um, change out for this Hobby Lobby gumball machine. So I'm gonna share that with you today. And I'm also gonna stencil on here and show you how you can use our stencils on glass and then be able to change that out as well. So if we have not met, my name is Cindy. You are here on my YouTube channel. And I may go ahead and post this on my Facebook page as well. Monarch Mom DIY is both my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. I am a creator with Magnolia Design Co. And that's the stencils that I'll be showing you in just a little bit here. So I am not in my usual place where I do my videos. Um, I'm actually in Arizona visiting my parents. And... Um, so that's where I am and that might be why the internet is a little funky for me but like I said we are using this Hobby Lobby gumball machine which I was able to find in the spring shop it's retail price $9.99 but as we know um, the seasonal items are usually 40% off so I paid six dollars for this and the little set that she has has these circles that you actually they come separate and you glue them together and this is going to make the topper that fits right on our gumball machine now i am going to paint this white um, i'm going to wait just a little bit this is a little wet still right here um, but once that's dry i am going to go ahead and paint that completely white to match my gumball machine i wanted a color that would match any of the seasons so what her little set gosh i must have spilled some water um what her little set comes with are let's see one two three four five six seven eight different seasonal items that have this little peg that allow them to go right into the topper i think those are just so adorable and when I find something that I like, I always want to um, let you all know about it. So I'm not even sure if she still has these. I would hope, I know she cuts them herself on like one of those laser cutter machines. So um, anyway, so it comes with a pumpkin. It comes with some bunny ears, a snowflake, stars for like the 4th of July, a little scalloped heart, a tree that I'm going to paint as a Christmas tree, a little bumblebee, and a flower. So really, I mean, I think she did a pretty good job of having everything that you would need for, you know, all the seasons and all the holidays. So I'm just going to use actually some of these. Um, I was looking for makeup sponges at Dollar Tree, but these are kind of, these are the eyeshadow applicators, but they're the makeup sponge um, tip. So I'm going to use these and I'm just using some Apple Barrel matte uh, paints from Walmart. I think they're like 64 cents or 58 cents or something like that. And um, this was something she showed on her um, her Facebook page that kind of gives instructions of how to uh, use her kits and um, she used makeup sponges but I'm just going to use the eyeshadow applicator because that's what I could find at my store so we'll get this going white is going to take a couple of coats probably because I am using acrylic paint and I'm not using chalk paint like I usually use. Uh, because I was traveling um, and my mom's only here part of the year, there were just some things she didn't have, which was fine. I just went to Walmart and got 
some, uh, you know, of the less expensive paint. And I figured, you know what, I'll just leave these here for her. But I obviously didn't want to spend, you know, six or seven dollars for each of the colors that I needed. Now, one thing that um, the creator of these said is because this machine kind of chars the wood and that's how it cuts out the shapes, um, it's going to be difficult to paint the edges. So I am not, because it kind of, um, I don't know, it like distorts the color, kind of soaks it in rather than having it, you know, stay on the surface as the color. So what I did, what she suggested on the lid pieces, because I am going to paint this entirely white, is to seal these char edges with Mod Podge. So I did do that and... Um, then once that's dry, we'll be able to go in and paint that entire thing. These little um, eyeshadow applicators actually make pretty good little paintbrush sponges for small areas. And I'm just going to start probably the white and then I'm going to show you um, my idea for for stenciling on the actual gumball machine. Now, um, if you are not wanting white, I did see they also had, um, for the gumball machines, they had black, red, I saw pink, and I saw mint green. So I don't know if they had these at Christmas time or the fall as well. They may have other colors. But like I said, I wanted a color that I could, that I wouldn't have to worry about um, it clashing with whatever seasonal thing. So my plan when I get back home to Michigan is I'm going to fill my little jar with jelly beans. I'm not sure what color I'm going to do this flower, but I'm going to do the center white. The nice thing about this paint is it does dry pretty quickly. So I can come back and do the back of my bunny ears. I'm kind of bummed that this live didn't work out, but um, it might be because I'm outside. It might be because it's windy today. But I was all set up, so I decided to just go ahead and record this video for you guys. I will also try to find out if um, my turquoise valentine is still making these. I, like I said before, she cuts them herself, so I would imagine that if there's a demand for them, she would make more. Since they are like a all seasons thing, she's probably going to plan on having them in her shop all the time, I would imagine. All right, so if you are watching this video um, shortly after I post it, there is a uh, retirement stencil sale going on on my Magnolia website. And I don't think I'm going to do the back of that. Um, there's so many stencils, including the one I'm going to show you, I'm going to use on my gumball machine that are up to 20% off right now. Um, they are retiring, so they are just selling off the rest of them to make room for our new summer stencils or the new catalog, I should say. So if you're interested in the stencil I'm going to use today or any others, be sure to head over to monarchmomdiy.com and click on retiring stencils and you'll be able to see all those stencils that are retiring. All right. Just see if we're finished with our white here.
All right, let's do one more coat on the ear or the uh, wings for our bee. And probably once I get these home and they're all painted and dried, I will spray them with a clear matte spray as well, just to make sure everything is nice and sealed. All right, so I think that's everything I'm gonna paint white. I may come back and do the back of my bunny ears here a second, but I wanna show you, um, here's the jar. And I thought that the minis, we have seasonal minis, would fit great on here. So I'm gonna try to, even though it is rounded, I think you could either just do the word Easter, but I'm gonna try to do Easter is for Jesus. This is from the Spring Minis 2022. So the ones that came out this year, 2023, are not retiring, but the ones from last year that are still available are retiring. So what I'm gonna do is on the front of my jar here is I'm just going to try to center this. And then try to not get any folds where there's letters so that my letters will still be kind of crisp. It doesn't matter if I have bubbles in the rest of the stencil where there's no letters, but I want to try and get my letters centered on there. Now I could use black, but I, my idea is to fill this with colorful jelly beans. So I'm going to do the white chalk paste. Now I'm gonna use chalk paste because when this dries, it'll, it'll stay, but when it's the next season or holiday, I can just wash it off with some water. So I'm just taking a little bit of my white chalk paste here to hopefully stencil these letters on. The other nice thing is if I don't like how it turns out because it is a little tricky when you're trying to stencil on a curved surface. If I don't like how it turns out, I can just wash it off and try it again. But hopefully it'll be pretty good. Okay, that just took the tiniest little bit of chalk paste. That worked pretty good. A couple little spots that I probably had a little fold in the, let's see if I put my hand behind it, you can see it. Easter is for Jesus. All right, so like I said, this stencil set is the Spring Minis 2022 and it is retiring it is currently on sale so if you are interested in it I would suggest you hop on my website all right I'm gonna move on to let's see I've got lots of colors here let's do a little red for the Valentine heart these are super cute these would be even fun. I mean, really, if you give a child a little paintbrush, you could have them paint these. I put way too much paint. I just think these small areas, it's easier to use something other than a paintbrush. All right, so now I'm gonna come back to my stars and I'm gonna do my big star with red. All right, we'll do the other side in a little bit and I don't think I need the red for anything else. Let's do our Christmas tree. I need green and, oops, I didn't open the brown. This is Java. This is a pretty dark brown we'll use for the uh, stem. 
in, or the trunk of the tree, I should say. All right, that, this paint might be a little old, but that's okay. We only need a tiny, tiny bit. All right, let's get a couple more of these things. sure what color I'm gonna do the flower but I'm gonna do the bee I'm gonna do the body of the bee yellow I may even come back in with a black sharpie to do the black stripes on the body these are super cute these little laser laser wood cut pieces. Okay, there's our B. I got way too much yellow. You know what? Let's just do our flower yellow. I think that'll be nice. Right, there's our flower. Let's do some orange for our pumpkin. Tiny little bit. I may use a little bit of the brown as well for some shading on our pumpkin and for the stem. just need let's do a little bit of pink for the inside of the bunny ears this is probably the one I'm going to use first and I'm wondering if I should use a brush I wish I had a really fine brush The other thing you could use too would be um, the paint markers, like that Walmart has. I'm not liking that. I'm gonna use the brush. That's a little better. A little bit more control for this inside part of the ear.
on the ears, but here's the little bunny ears. I thought they're so cute. Now, let's go ahead and I'm gonna use a brush to paint our entire topper. This will, I'm sure, need two coats of this white acrylic. It's just apple barrel paint from, from Walmart. All right, and you can see the little hole there in the top. That's where the peg that is on each of the little topper pieces fits in so that they stand up and you can change it out for the different seasons and holidays. Actually, you don't even really need to paint this bottom part because it's going to be inside the, the gumball machine. You're not even really going to see it, but you can paint it if you want. So once we get that all painted the second time, this sits right in the top of the gumball machine. And then let me just show you, we'll take our ears here, stick it right inside. How cute is that? All right, and then because we stenciled it, here, I'm just gonna set this here even though it's not quite done. Here's what it'll look like, and you can see if I put my hand behind I stenciled with one of my spring minis from 2022 from Magnolia. Easter is for Jesus. I'm going to fill this up. You could do jelly beans. You could do the pastel candy corns that they do for Easter time. And I just think this is adorable. So I wanted to share with all of you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. If you would comment on it. If you decide you want to sprinkle it or share it with others who you think um, may be interested and I will definitely post a picture of the completed set when it's all done but thanks so much for joining me today and I look forward to sharing more DIY crafts with you in the very very near future thanks so much take care